this video is for you if you're around the age of 40 and you're more of a plain Jane type. Uh, your skincare routine is very simple or maybe even non-existent. Um, and so today I want to do a self-massage of the face and also use facial cups to help plump up the skin. As someone who didn't really learn how to take care of my skin until later in life, um, I really never really focused on how my skin can look in my mind. I focused more on the things that were wrong. So for instance, uh, how visible my pores were or the, the blackheads on my nose or the smiling um, lines or the frowning line in between my eyebrows. And from a Chinese medical perspective, we look at the face and where we may have wrinkles or blemishes and which channels or which organs are affecting that area of the face. So for instance, um, here above the upper lip, if you have a lot of wrinkles there or if you have any blemishes or um, let's say pimples, that is usually related to the stomach. Um, here it's also hormonal. A lot of people know that acne around the chin area are due to hormones or so around the monthly cycle or in between the eyebrows. For instance, ever since I was a kid, I was a very angry wood type, right? In Chinese medicine, we'll look at the five elements. So the wood element governs the liver. And in between our eyebrows, the frowny lines correspond to the liver. So if you're a person who's always like that, angry or just holding tension in your eyebrow area, we might need to soothe the flow of uh, the liver organ or liver channel. So. Besides that, um, my routine in my 20s was almost non-existent. I used to just put cold water on my face to make my face tighter. Um, and I started to notice early on that I had these small lines on my face. But the more I focused on them, the worse they became. And then I started tapping into uh, working with my mind more and visualization techniques and silver mind method. And I started to see my skin becoming brighter, um, more glowy, more dewy. Um, in my 30s, I also did a 10-step Korean method, which was just OD in my opinion. And it made me focus more on the things that were wrong with my skin, which I didn't have bad skin to begin with. It's not like I had a lot of pimples, but like I said, blackheads, some dryness, some area of oil, oil, um, which is a, a mixed type of skin. So if you are a plain Jane type of woman who doesn't use a lot of makeup, like I don't, um, I don't even wear foundation, not even during winter time. Um, I know some dermatologists might, might say that you do, do need a protective layer on your skin, um, but I basically just moisturize my skin. And then when I want a little more plumpiness to it, I'll do facial cupping or microdermabrasion at home. Um, so I'm not the type that goes to salons. Um, I've done eyebrows in the past. I've also tinted my lips, but past that point, I haven't really done any facials. Um, I like to do things on my own. So if you're that kind of a person, then you're going to love this video. So let's get right into it. Um, and I also wanted to mention, you know, I see a lot of like young YouTubers in their 20s, like doing all these things for their skin. And that's great because, you know, you'll have better skin later on. Uh, but unfortunately, when young people start to talk about wrinkles, it's, it's silly because, you know, in your 20s, you're really, your skin is still so beautiful that, you know, you, you can't show me uh, a product that's going to make your wrinkles better because you really don't have many wrinkles to begin with. So I'm actually just using a vitamin um, E oil right now um, because I need my skin oily to be able to glide these soft cups, okay? And I'm just applying it all over my face. Once I have the oil applied, then I'm going to do a little bit of a massage. And you see how much my face is getting redder already, much more red. 
and that's because I've already stimulated the blood flow in in my face in my skin all right and so what I want you to do is just start with your cheeks right here at the nasolabial area and go with your three fingers and underneath the zygoma, underneath the cheekbones, go out to the side and then down into the neck. And that is because that's the pathway of lymph drainage. You want to drain the lymph towards the collarbones and then they'll drain into the armpits. I'll do that about three to five times. And then I like to do that with my chin as well. And for the sake of saving time, I do it bilaterally, meaning both sides at the same time, but you can definitely do it unilaterally. Um, there's a technique like this with your knuckles and then just glide and go down the neck, glide to the edge of your jawbone your mandibular bone and then down the neck towards the sternocleidomastoid muscle that attaches to the mastoid process of your skull. Okay, and then we'll do a little bit of uh, massaging in the forehead area. So zigzagging like this with your fingers just to break up the tissue a little bit going up this vertical line from between the eyebrows all the way up towards the hairline and do that three times. Good. And then we'll drag the eyebrows, so from the corner of the eyebrows out to the lateral edge of your eyes or the orbital ridge. And do that three times. Good. And then up and down the forehead and I'm doing it bilaterally good and then circles around your eyes being gentle not to drag the skin with your fingers but make sure that it's smooth good a few times and that's it and then we'll start with the cup so you can, uh, this is Lure, you can get it on Amazon, you can get it online, somewhere else. Um, I'll drop the link in the description below. But basically, I'll start from my chin out to the side and down, and I'll go down one side of the face and I'll do the other side as well. So you suction, you see that it stays, and then you drag it out laterally and then down the neck. So you'll do that three times, two, and three and then you'll do it from the corner of the mouth upwards again and down then starting at the nasolabial fold right here under the zygoma out and down and the previous massage i did wasn't like a specific order per se it was just to invigorate the flow of blood in my face um, but it wasn't like a specific protocol of massage now under the eye i actually have a smaller um smaller cup and you can use that instead so especially because the skin under the eyes is very sensitive so you want to use a smaller cup so you're not dragging the skin too much. Right. Again, you do it three to five times and then you can do the crow's feet around the eye. And I'm gonna go back to the big cup and I'll actually apply it right above my eyebrow because I do want to increase blood flow in my eyebrow area so I can stimulate some follicular growth because I used to pluck my eyebrows when I was very young even though my eyebrows were very blonde and it's not like I really needed to do much but anyways do three to five passes right at the eyebrow ridge and then go up on the forehead 
center of the forehead down to the sides to the temples and then all the way at the top good and then you can see my face already the sides very red and already plumped up now I'm gonna go to the opposite side three times and then here as well you could do it over your lips too especially um, if you want to plump them up a little bit but be mindful because you don't want to create any bruising on your skin good and I'm gonna switch again to the small cup and go under the eye and crow's feet right here so you basically see you connect the cup to your skin by holding it releasing it and then pulling it off good I'm gonna go back to the big cup and go above my eyebrow encompassing the eyebrow as well three and then center out three and then top of the forehead right near the hairline three times and then you can go vertically up from the space between your eyebrows this point is called uh, yin tong right here and then go up to the hairline you can use the small cup for this as well depending on the size of your face as well right so my face is actually pretty small I'm not a, a big girl I'm 5'2 5'3 because of my aerial yoga practice I feel like I grew uh, an inch cumulatively and uh, and that's that that's that see see how much more blood you have in your face and it's definitely already plumpier, right? I don't have any bruising on my face. And then I'm gonna go and apply some makeup and come back and show you how I look like post-treatment. And I'm back and this is my natural look that I kind of rock every day. I basically just did my eyebrows, a lip liner, and I'm ready to go. I don't even use mascara um, these days because my eyes are very sensitive and I am in the process of finding the right mascara for me. Um, but like I said, if you're a plain Jane and you're around the age of 40 and you really don't like the hassle of a nighttime routine, morning routine, skincare routine every day, um, you can do this facial cupping maybe once a week, maybe once a month. Really depends what you do on a daily basis. If you live in a climate where you're more exposed to sun and it can damage your skin. I used to spend a lot of time in the sun when I was younger. Um, so I know that contributed to some of the wrinkling earlier on. Um, and also depending on your race. I mean, I have a lot of friends, different different races, and my friends who are black, who are Asian, just naturally have better skin complexion um, than majority of my white friends. Um, and that's okay, but knowing what to do with the skin that you have is, is really key. And I have to tell you that for me, a lot of it is in the mind. I, I apply mind training for every area of my life, including how my skin looks, how my skin, my hair looks, my physique has changed through my mind and manifestation. So I invite you to really work more on how you see yourself inside your mind than on the external techniques. The external techniques definitely have to come, uh, but they do not have to be excessive um, because there's a lot of information out there and you can get confused with which oils to use and what what cream for which skin type, etc. And that's all valid, um, but I like 
simplicity. I like quick things. Um, I don't like to spend too much time doll dolling myself up, but I do like to look good. So if you're like me, it doesn't really have to take long and you can do this little oil facial cupping routine, like I said, once a week, once a month, uh, depending on where you live and what your lifestyle is like. If you have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to shoot me a comment below or reach out through my email and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.